Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about furniture refinishing. I'm going to share a couple of tips that I think would be of tremendous value to you if you're thinking of redoing a piece of furniture for the first time. Whether you want to flip a piece of furniture for profit or just do something you already have at home and give it a facelift. If this is something that interests you, I think you should stick around and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's get started. The question I see asked the most is how can I tell if this piece of furniture is real wood or not? Before I explain that, let's just address the word real. When we think of real wood, we're most likely thinking, or rather asking, if it's made of solid wood. That is to say, something can be real wood, but not solid wood. Rather, the question you should be asking is, is this solid wood or not? Most furniture pieces that you buy in stores today are not solid wood, even though the description says it's wood or real wood, unless it says it's solid wood, it is a combination of what is called engineered wood as opposed to solid wood. Before I explain the difference, I want you to know this is one of the most important things you need to know before you touch a piece of furniture. Knowing this is going to determine the type of preparation you do and the finish you choose. In spite of making its entry into the interior design world ages ago, wood still wows everyone and soars high on the interior style radar. It can be used virtually everywhere, both indoors and outdoors, and it's also versatile enough to team with any color palette, any style, and any finish. When it comes to its selection, many of us are surprised to learn that there are two categories of wood, natural and man-made. Solid wood is a natural product obtained by logging fully grown and mature trees that have either fallen or been cut off. Engineered wood is a man-made product obtained by binding wood veneers, strands, particles, or scraps of other lumber products together to form one single sheet. The most commonly known forms are plywood, particle board, and medium density fiber board, otherwise known as MDF. Plywood is made from thin layers of wood that are pressed together. The wood is layered so the grains of the boards are at right angles to each other. This reinforces the strength of the wood. Plywood can be stained to match the rest of the piece, or sometimes a veneer is glued to the outside of the plywood to perfectly match the rest of the piece. Wood veneer is a thin layer of real wood that's glued on top, typically one of these surfaces. So the difference between solid wood and veneer wood furniture is that veneer furniture only features a thin layer of solid wood on the surface. Another material that you may run into quite often is laminate. Laminate is made by pressing together multiple layers of plastic resins and flat paper. It's printed to give a wood grain appearance and in most cases has a shiny finish. You may hear the terms veneer and laminate used interchangeably, but they're very different in nature. A veneer is a thin layer of real wood and laminate is not wood at all. Now that you know the difference between solid wood and engineered wood, let's talk about five things that you can look for that will help you spot the difference. Number one, solid wood furniture is heavy, really heavy. If your furniture is fairly lightweight, it's probably not solid wood. Secondly, a great indicator of solid wood is dovetail construction. Your furniture may still have veneer fronts, but it's most likely constructed of solid wood if you see that tongue and groove construction where the drawer connects to the drawer front. Thirdly, take a look at the sides and underneath your piece of furniture. If there is veneer, you will be able to look at it from the side and see where the sheet of veneer attaches to the front of the piece. Veneer will also have a horizontal grain pattern on the edges. Number four, carved details. If the furniture has ornate or carved detailing, it's probably wood. Laminate and veneers cannot be carved. And number five, plain and simple, cost. Solid wood costs a lot more. Now that you know how to spot whether a piece of furniture is solid wood or not, let's talk about the pros and cons of each. Naturally, one would think that solid wood is the best that you can have, not so fast. There's no denying the high quality feel and appearance of solid wood. But something that you should know is, solid wood is very susceptible to atmospheric conditions, meaning it expands and contracts to changes in temperature and humidity. 
which in turn causes the wood to split. Not so much of an issue indoors where you have controlled temperatures, but definitely something to consider. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna zero in on a piece of furniture that's either solid wood or a wood veneer. Knowing the pros and cons of each is also important. Wood veneer is a thin piece of real wood that's on top of something, usually plywood. It's plywood with real wood on top of it. So when asked the question, is this real wood or not? The answer would be yes, because it's plywood with real wood on top. Yesterday, I went to a thrift shop so we can look at a few items and spot the differences. One of the first things I do when I look at a piece is I open the drawers. I'm not only looking for that dovetail construction that we spoke about earlier, but you want to see that the drawers are going in and out smoothly and not falling apart. Now, if you look at the two doors in front of this dresser, you'll see that there's a deliberate direction in which the wood grains are going. Typically, these designs are done when using a veneer. Now, looking at the back of the dresser, you can clearly see that this is a particle board with a veneer on top. Here is a nightstand and another reason why you should open every drawer. There was mold on the inside. So disgusting. Anyway, looking at the top of this nightstand, you see again the different directions in which the wood grain is going. A telltale sign that this is a veneer. Now let's look at this three-piece set with the dresser and the two nightstands. You can tell this is real wood, not only from the knots that you can see, but the random patterns in which the grains are running. These look like 12 inch wide pieces of lumber that are put together. Here's another nightstand that's in terrible condition. You can see the finish on the top, probably a varnish or a wax or something is flaking off the top. And not only that, the veneer is actually lifting off the bottom. Not the worst thing, but if you don't have experience repairing veneer, stay away from it. Here's another nightstand that looks a lot like an Ikea piece. You can see that it is particle board with a veneer on top. I suggest staying away from particle board altogether. They not only split and crack easily, but once you move them, they fall apart. Now that we have that behind us, let's talk about how to prepare each surface. Everything I've shared so far is to help you determine what kind of prep is needed for your refinishing projects. The most important thing you can do regardless of the type of furniture is to always degrease and thoroughly clean your piece. When it comes to solid wood, the advantage to its counterparts is the number of rounds it would allow you to sand and refinish. You can basically sand and refinish a solid piece of furniture over and over. Keep in mind though, stripping paint and stain can be very tedious. With wood veneer on the other hand, it's usually less than three millimeters thick. So although you can do the same by sanding and refinishing like a solid piece, there's only so far you can sand. Once you go past that thin layer of wood veneer, you would be faced with whatever type of engineered wood is used underneath, commonly referred to as blowing through the veneer. Whether it's plywood, particle board, MDF, or some other surface. Not the end of the world, but if this happens, your restaining plans are over. You would want to use a good bonding primer and finish with paint. This is why it's super important to know what surface you're dealing with. You don't want to go wild sanding thinking it's solid wood, and in fact, it's a thin layer of wood veneer. Laminate, since it isn't wood, cannot be restained. Although you can use a gel stain since it sits on the top, but that requires some know-how. Not every time, but most times a laminate has a very shiny surface. You would need to do a light scuff sanding to help with adhesion. Use a good bonding primer and finish with paint. I've put a link in the description to the products I recommend. In this video, I've given you some tips on how to spot the difference between solid wood and engineered wood. But this does take some practice and still can be a struggle to tell even for the experts in the field. Most furniture you come in contact with are going to be a combination of both. The drawers on top may be solid wood and the sides may be a veneer. In this case, you would treat the preparation differently for each area as we spoke about earlier.
But before I go, I wanted to share with you a gift I received over the holidays. Refinishing furniture and other home projects can take a toll and a good night's sleep is very important. This pillow is from a company called LifeWit. It's made of shredded memory foam and it comes in this little box. Included is an extra bag of foam so you can adjust the softness and height to suit your comfort level. If you're like me and you've struggled finding a good pillow, check this one out. I've put a link in the description. And that's it for today guys. Let me know in the comments if you're about to work on your first piece of furniture or if you're doing this already, if this has been helpful to your furniture flipping business. There's so much more that I'm hoping to share on future videos like where to find the best pieces, how to price them, what are the best paints and finishes to use on the particular pieces, and so much more. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time.